Hey guys, this is a follow-up to a video I made a few months back called How to Sync Logic Pro and Main Stage. All right, so in that video, I talked about sending tempo changes from Logic into Main Stage. I also talked about um, sending patch changes by using um, these MIDI regions in Logic. And let me click on one. What they would do is if you add a program change event to that region this velocity number here is zero you could one through 20 zero through 27 which is basically 128 different options you can use that to send patch changes check out the video for the details um really quick i'll just hit play and you can see the program changes being sent um All right, so basically, I explained how to set this up in my previous video. But someone brought up a point in the comment, like, what happens if I have more than 128 patches? So basically, I've used up all of my options from one from zero all the way to 127. I use all of them, all of them already. And the way around that is to use main stages bank select option which is down here so basically you can have another 128 banks and each bank could have 128 program changes so 128 times 128 16,384 patches I doubt you'll ever get that far <laughs> your computer will probably blow up but anyway, the way to do this is in Logic. We have these already set up, these MIDI regions with program changes. What we have to do is send MSB and LSB MIDI into main stage. And if I turn on bank select, which is like this, this left side is for MSB and this right side is for LSB. MSB stands for most significant byte. LSB stands for least significant byte. Um, Definitely Google that and learn a little bit about what it means and what it does. It's like one of the uh, kind of like foundations of how MIDI works is using MSB and LSB. Anyway, as you can see here, I turned on this bank select and you see now it says B0. I'm going to turn it on for this too. B0. So basically now it's like bank zero, patch, one, patch zero, well, patch one and patch two. Uh, let's create a set. I'm going to just put it here and I'm going to call it, um, bank one. And then I'm going to create another set and I'll just call this one bank two and I'll throw these guys in here as well. Um, for these ones, I'm going to jump to bank select and just set it to zero and one. So for example, like say these are my pianos and these are like, I don't know, roads or electric pianos. All right, let's go back over to logic and make some changes there. As you can see, if I hit play and go back to main stage, it's kind of just jumping back and forth in between uh, the whatever selected patches were. So I don't, that's not going to work. I need specific banks now. So I'm going to click on the first region. This is the very first patch. So this is going to be this one here. I just need to make sure I add the bank because it's already it's going to be my patch zero on bank one. So you can see here, there's this little number section right here. It has like, kind of like what looks like a divider symbol. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click it and drag it. And I'm just going to set it to zero. What that does is opens up this MSB LSB option down here. Now, there's supposed to be two numbers here. It might not, it might not show side by side right away. So I usually like unselect it and go back. Now it shows the number side by side. So this number is the MSB. This right number is LSB. So these two numbers match up exactly to the two numbers here in main stage. So like if I put, I don't know, 
14, 16 here, then down here, I would have to put 14, 16 as well. All right, but for this example, what I'm going to do is I'll just put it to zero and we could keep it, let's keep it 16, zero and 16. All right, and I'll do the same thing for this patch here. I'm going to leave that at zero and then put this at 16. Um, jump over here. Do the same thing. I might have to click out of the region just to get it to show up. And I'm going to type 16 here. All righty, so now we have now we have our LSBS 16 and velocity of zero. So program the first program change, second pro program change, LSBS at 16 here too. So now when I hit, oh, let me pull this back. Now if I hit play, go back here to main stage, we have our first two patches jumping back and forth. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this, move these down, and I put our first two back. And these first two, I'm gonna set them to, let's try 10 and eight. All right, so these will be our second two patches here, 10 and eight. So MSB, LSB for these guys, 10 and 8. These will be, yeah, this will be our red set then. And our first one will be green. I just made, made my just name this to be like pianos and... Set this one to be pads or something like that. All right. Oh, let me, before I do that, 10 and eight, set these banks to, ten and eight. All right, let me hit play. So as you can see here, now the pad, now these patches are jumping to the specific sets in order, but they have this sum of the same program changes because this is program change zero, program change one. This one down here is program change zero, program change one. So I'm only using two program changes, but by using the LSB and MSB options, you have almost an unlimited number of patches you can jump around to in main stage. So this is kind of the next step for a really, really big, complicated logic session and main stage kind of sync thing. So yeah, explore, play around with it, learn about it. Enjoyment, all right? Talk to you guys soon.